Hello everyone, Jobin Blue here, and in this video we are looking at everything that you need to know about Simu 1.9.1, including the recently released Patreon news. Yesterday, Team Simu gave us some long-awaited info about the 191 update on Patreon. We didn't know much about 191 prior to this, just that the Pictobox Box and Wind Waker HD and that the save captions and camera rune now work in Breath of the Wild. They said that there is not a confirmed release date yet, just that, as usual, it will be coming sometime later this month. With that being said, let's get into the news. We have learned in this post that we will be getting an optional separate window for the gamepad. It's easier for some games whenever you get to use a gamepad and sometimes more was required than just hitting tab to bring it up for a few seconds. They posted an example of this using Splatoon. I have a theory about how we can use the gamepad with their smartphones, there's a link in the description to my video about it. I think it should work, so you will be able to use your tablet or phone as the gamepad, with some slight setup. I will test this out when 191 officially releases. The next thing that we heard about is improved texture readback. Basically, the Pictobox and Windmaker HD is fixed, save point screenshots are fixed in Breath of the Wild, as well as Super Mario Maker, and we learned about this a while ago when it was posted by XApp on the Discord. And this means that the camera rune in Breath of the Wild is going to work 100% as it is supposed to and we can see what it is taking a picture of. In 174, the camera rune was able to recognize what was being captured by the rune, but we still couldn't see what the camera was exactly taking a picture of. The camera rune is necessary for the Link's memory missions. The last in-depth thing that they wrote about are improvements to the recompiler in the form of compatibility and graphical improvements. What we know so far is that some graphics bugs and trying to are now fixed, as well as Call of Duty Ghost is now playable. We don't really know about anything else yet. I would just like to point out that if Pokin or Hyrule Warriors were to start working, they would probably be hyped a lot, so don't expect them to be working in this update. As usual, I will still be testing them. They also said to expect some minor audio improvements. You may have heard about how they know what is wrong with Smash and that changes could be coming quote unquote soon. And they have mentioned that they are working on a thing called RDTSC as well as better audio timing that should help with the crackling audio. Well, they confirmed to a member on the Discord that this improvement will be planned for 192. XF said that these will help, but they are unsure if this will make the audio work 100%. Lastly, after the 1.9 series, Simu will be going to 1.10 not 2.0. I don't know if you heard people say otherwise, but they probably just didn't know that it's common to do this with software. Not to mention that Team Simu has confirmed it will be 1.10. That'll wrap it up for this video. I'm working on a comprehensive testing and analysis for Smash for Simu 1.90. I still need to finish up the script for it, but I have the raw footage and it should be pretty easy to finish. I've not started the RPCS3 report yet, and I'm not even sure if there's a dolphin one because I never saw it. Yeah, more videos are planned. Sorry about the hiatus. I've been playing a few games recently and watched a few shows and movies i just didn't feel like making videos about them and it's been hard to find a time to record where i won't bother my family or other people that are in my house uh this has been jobin blue and thank you all for watching